I am nine years old and I'm in fourth grade. I'm inspired by my cousin Lily since she does really good drawings. They look really, really realistic. I'm also inspired by insects, animals, sometimes songs or movies. I made an Imagine book and I put, added all of this like stuff like sharks and stuff. Like I do the size. I only do like a stick man. I never really do stick mans anymore, but I would do like a stick man to show how big it would be compared to like an average human. Like this one is cool. Some of them I didn't finish like this. Has I might have got called for dinner or something. So I would do a sometimes I would do a head after head after head after head. Sometimes I would make a giant plant. Sometimes I'd make like a seed with hands and stuff. But this one has two heads, and it has like body uh, body armor and stuff. This thing is like it's a giant thing in the sand. It's like a blue whale since it's like a blue whale. Each um, um, fin is the size of a plane, and his heart is the size of a um, school bus. So I wanted to do that. And then I made like a flying thing. It has like a blade on its tail, and it glides. So I, sometimes I just do like all of these things. And I do like a thing like that to measure it. And this is my last one. This I call it a lasher and it has two things like that. And I don't really color them since when I want to do marker, it would like leak through and I would be like, ah. Oh. So I just, so I don't color them. I really like to make sharks. I love reading shark books and stuff. So, and a lot of pictures of shark books really make me want to make them making books when I when I was like six and I had and I made a, a book with words and I wrote it about like Bigfoot versus Mothman and I did all that and my um, auntie actually put it in a real book so it would be like real and like a hardcover thing and I thought it was really cool and I get so frustrated and I do a scribble or something I usually turn it into an eye, or it depends on the shape, like this one, it's eye. I, I did a scribble, a really tiny one for some reason, I don't know why. And then I turned it into a, an eye, then I worked my Sometimes way I would up. just do this, you would make the door so thin, then you could make the mouth. Sometimes it just looks like a weird fish, and sometimes you just want to flip it over and see what it looks like. But for this one, I like the looks of it. You could make like a really big fin. You always want to make like if you're gonna make like a fin or something, it matching, so it wouldn't look weird. I read a lot of science books, so I know what to draw. But sometimes I just draw something like not as good, like this. I didn't do enough work for that, so I just make it into like another head. make a head here too and then a bunch of teeth and then in the bottom row I'll do something like this and the gills then its name like you would do like a name right here for example cheese but you usually want to do something for it but I don't have that's not a real name, since I'm just going to say T-Shark. Put a piece of cheese on a fork that he's holding. Okay, like that's a picture. My advice to other artists is that if they mess up and it turns out horrible, turn it into something else new. It happens to me a lot. I did it before and it turned out better.